legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Governor Rick Scott told lawmakers that the state of the state is growing. It was his sixth address to lawmakers. He says the state is growing because he and the legislature cut taxes and regulations. He asked for more of the same. With record state revenues, we have the opportunity to diversify our economy and help our small businesses grow by cutting taxes by $1 billion. But the biggest applause of the day came when he mentioned the global terrorism fight. Our next president must make it their mission to immediately eliminate the threat of ISIS to the United States of America. What the governor didn't mention was the Seminole Compact, which could be worth hundreds of millions of dollars to pay for his tax cuts. The omission puzzled some in his own party. I don't think he is, he is uh, counting one against the other necessarily. From our perspective, we have to look at the tax cuts anew and determine where a decent number is. The Senate's Democratic leader says that while she supports job growth, she says the governor has placed too much attention on creating low-paying jobs. These low-paying jobs, that the majority of them that he has created, does not bode well for people at the bottom. It really doesn't. Scott's speech sets the agenda for the session that ends in March, but he can't control what lawmakers do between now and then. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.